Technology is changing faster than ever. Connected devices, machine learning, and more recently cryptocurrencies have resulted in new opportunities for cyber criminals. At the IT Web Security Summit 2018, keynote speaker Mikko Hippinen addressed the topic of InfoSec. Where are we right now? What is happening now? And what happens next? The fact is that we are living in the middle of revolutions, technological revolutions. We already saw all computers going online. And what's happening next is that everything else is going online. Internet is changing the way we live our lives. And I spent my time looking at the downsides of the internet. You know, all the crime, all the attacks. But the fact is, internet has brought us much more good than bad. And we should never forget that. When you think about all the connectivity, all the business opportunities, all the entertainment that internet has brought us, I mean, the downsides pale in comparison, but we do have to take them into account. The traditional way of defending a network is to build really thick walls around it and then try to keep all the attackers out all the time. The problem is, it doesn't work very well anymore. Not in today's environment where all devices are discussing and sending traffic to other devices all the time. So what works much better today is that you build the thick walls but also have sensors inside your network. That way you're able to detect a bridge and you're able to react to a bridge. And this way we can actually detect attacks which would be completely missed otherwise. We can look at all the security problems we see in all kinds of companies, in all devices, and we can divide them into two different groups. All the problems we see are either technical problems or people problems. And technical problems can be really complex, they can be really hard to fix, but at least we know how to fix them. Technical problems in the end are bugs in the code. Bugs in the code because programmers are humans and they make mistakes. And the way you fix technical problems is that you fix the vulnerability and then you update all the systems. But fixing the people problems, that's much harder. There is no patch for human brain. There's nothing we can do to instantly fix these things. And that's why computer security professionals don't actually just have to be good with technology. They also have to be educators. We have to get the education out to the users so they are better equipped to handle the problems that are not technical problems, but people problems.